here what is going on youtube it's your boy denali eight to the cake don squally back at y'all mofos with another forza horizon 3 build video man you guys know how we do it every single day back with another request today's build request video comes from yadvinder gakow on youtube and he wants to see a crown victoria OPP build and he's been asking for a while man my apologies for making you wait my apologies to everybody if I haven't gotten to your request the channel's been blowing up at an alarming rate lately and um, you know I'm doing my best to get a video a day out I've been toying with the idea of getting two a day out but I mean right now works kind of busy uh, so, you know I just I, I gotta keep on this schedule real quick you know, but keep making those requests. Like I say, video uploaded every single day throughout the week. And uh, we are taking requests, man. Um, so the reason that I picked this build is because if you guys do not know what the OPP is, that's the o Ontario Provincial Police. And I currently reside in toronto ontario and the provincial police here are the opp so they are pretty well uh pretty well what like known throughout ontario and uh you know i think it'd be pretty cool if we did an opp build so what i'm gonna do is just pick out the best option here for our opp vehicle now as you can see we have a couple different options here some uh, better than others there's that undercover but i want a fully marked cruiser here so i'm just gonna you know i'm not even gonna toy around anymore i already found uh the one that caught my eye here i don't know what this highway safety division we're gonna go ahead buy this up this looks to be the most in-depth to me and uh yeah man we are gonna get started with this build now i'm pretty stoked for this one uh, simply because I'm going to make this thing an absolute sleeper. Uh, it is, however, going to be specced out mostly uh, to do police work. But I want this thing to have a little more get up and go than your typical uh, American V8 would. Uh, simply because these, these uh, 4.6s that come in these things are absolute dogs, man. Definitely going to need a little bit of help. First and foremost, just going to check out some engine swap options, a 5.8 liter V8. Uh, I do want to put that in here, but I also don't because I know no cop car is rolling around with that. Uh, no cop car, car is rolling around with any of this stuff, so I don't need to go in here. Uh, however, I do want to put on a big old bash bar on the front here. Look at that cop car with the friggin' splitter kit on it. Give me a break here, Furza. Uh, yeah, that that also is pretty ridiculous. Uh, let's take a look at the lights here. Now, those lights, I mean, Forza, have you guys gotten, like, <laughs> you, you got a modern cop car here with lights on it from, like, ah, in the 1950s? Like, can I have a break? You need to give me a Kit Kat right now because that's just friggin' ridiculous, folks. Uh, so we're definitely not going to put those on here. As far as the wheels go, definitely going to keep them stock. But we're going to put a race tire compound on here. Now, I know I'm going to be complaining about having too much grip and not being able to drift and yada, yada, yada. But, I mean, I'm just, I'm stupid like that. Uh, differentials going in, though, because I do want to swing on these biatches. Uh, you guys know how we do. Obviously, every cop car has the upgraded race brakes. Now, when it comes to the suspension, I'm going to put on the race springs and dampers, but I am going to lift it up just a little bit because I know these cop cars do have an upgraded spring package on it, uh, which is a little bit of a stiffer ride. Actually, any roll bars as well. I can't forget that. Uh, you know, so they can take corners a little bit better while still maintaining a high ride height to get over curbs and stuff like that. So we are going to end up lifting this thing. We are going to end up, we are going to end up lifting this thing. I think would have been a better way to put it. Uh, exhaust and intake is getting, actually, you know what? This thing 
to be honest, this is what I'm going to do. We're going to do it complete opposite. Intake and exhaust is staying stock. Everything else is going to get upgraded. Now, reason being, I want this thing to be super quiet like a cop car would be. However, I want it to have as much power as possible for this specific engine. Now, looking at it right off of the gate, I'm noticing that this car is not going to have very much power at all. It's going to be an absolute dog. Now, this is a fully modded 4.6 liter V8. And I'm going to show you how slow this car actually is compared to a cop car, which would be just a lightly modded 4.6 liter V6. So there's a lot of cars in real life, really, that can outrun one of these things. The only problem is with modern cops, obviously, is that they got radios, helicopters, things of that nature. Oh, man, look at this. This, this gear ratio is really going to be screwing us up. Okay, we need to go back to the upgrades. Fix that gear ratio, and then we'll be good. Bear with me here, folks. So obviously, what we're going to have to do now that we have that sorted out. Um, so we're working with a six-speed transmission, which is obviously not what a stock Crown Vic would have. However, I mean, it's what I had to do in order to be able to change our final drive. So that's what had to happen for that. Now, pretty much everything else on here is going to stay the way that it is except this crown vic is just going to get lifted a little bit 21 we're going to do 21.5 well 0.6 on the bottom and we're going to stiffen up the springs now the reason i want to do this is because i want this car to be high off the ground like a cop car normally would be but i also want it to be able to take corners and we're also going to stiffen up our anti-roll bars so really, this is the only tuning that I could see a cop car getting. Um, you know, computer chip, uh, brakes, transmission cooler possibly. Uh, you know, that's pretty much it, man. So the thing still sounds pretty beastly. Um, you know, I'm, we're going to take this thing out on the rip. We ain't gonna do no street patrol. I'm gonna leave that to Mr. Random. Shout out to Mr. Random. Uh, Mr. Random Reviews on YouTube. Check him out, man. He does uh, some gaming videos. Uh, I believe he's a police officer as well, man. So he does some Forza, uh, you know, highway patrol videos. So shout out to Mofo if you listening. Uh, so yeah, let's just first and foremost take a look at this thing on the side of the road. Looks super intimidating really liking the way that it looks um this actually probably the best opp like that crown on the door looks super detailed probably one of the best uh skins that i've seen around man really happy that this popped up when it did and i mean this really isn't even that sluggish i'm not even gonna lie as you can see just hopping curbs no problem very stiff suspension so you can see the car really move when you hit those curbs. I think that transmission definitely helped the slugginess that I was expecting. Because this thing's got quite a bit of pickup. You know, I'm really digging it. Let's get an interior view now. Obviously, we upgraded the clutch and transmission, but... Good guy Forza still got both hands on the steering wheel. I've noticed that in some cars, um, I think like the Chargers and stuff like that, where they're not available in manual and yet Buddy's still reaching down. I don't know, maybe it's a paddle shifter that he's reaching for, but uh, they got the Crown Vic on point because it does just have the column shifter there. Now... I mean, not much to say about this. It definitely runs pretty nice. What I do want to do, though, is find somebody fast to race. Oh. Now, the way that Forza does it here is they'll... When you start a race, they'll start you behind the person, right? Oh, God. 
was that? BMW? That guy probably would have... Oh, okay. We're going to track down that guy since he, he hit us. So we're going to kind of do cop things here. But also because he looks like somebody that I possibly might be able to hire for a uh, drive guitar or something like that. And we're also going to see how the Crown Vic stacks up. I mean, already super sluggish, having a hard time catching this guy. We're going to see how it stacks up against just chasing down and then trying to beat a typical race car. Man, that guy's super race car. We're not racing him. Now, there's a good possibility that I'm going to I'm gonna lose this race because this guy's pulling away pretty, like, consistently. Okay, we caught him here. So this is a hard driver. Let's see how the Crown Victoria, I believe this is, oh, Z4, it says right there. Oh, right off the bat, Forza throwing that curveball at us. Okay, so here we go straight. As you can see, the BMW pulling away here. Here's where we can maybe catch him on this turn. Oh, he's taking a different route, okay. Oh, man, he's totally going a different way. All right. So we're going to hope that we beat this. I was hoping to really tail that guy the whole way to the end of the... This is like the first time that I've seen that. Oh, that thing just sounds beastly. Oh, look out, folks. Well, we probably more than likely lost the race there, but... Ah, oh, man, I can't get enough of it. Oh, look at that. The front, the front spotlights come on in the tunnel. I really like that, man. Okay, so we beat that drive guitar there, but that's not really the, the... Oh, look at that. 50 Gs, man. I see you, Forza. I see you. Okay, so obviously that's not... Well, you know, we beat we beat the guy, man. So, um, you know, I guess that's successful. But yeah, man, I, I mean, this... This build's pretty much straightforward. Nah, I don't want to do that. Thanks, though. Pretty straightforward. I mean, it's the OPP. Um, I think it's good. All right, let's try this once more with one of these guys. Do we have somebody? All right, this guy's hard. Let's see how a Crown Vic stacks up against the Genesis. 3.8 track. These cars are actually pretty fast, man. Uh, 3.8. V6, I believe. 300 horsepower. Oh, he's going off road. Don't tell me he's going a different way again. I just can't catch a break out here with these guys. 1.3 kilometers. So this, you know, occasionally the type of stuff that an OPP car would have to do. So handling it very well, actually, the back end's not swinging out or anything like that. As you normally would expect from a rear wheel drive V8 high horsepower vehicle. Very nice, very subtle. Up in here, get, oh man, we smoked that guy. We don't even have to worry about it. Not even a problem. Look at this thing, so, so sick, man. Really liking this car. Well, that was a little disappointing. Can't even lie. But yeah, man, I think... Uh, what do you guys say here, man? We pull off to the side of the road here. I don't know. Is that against protocol to run over bushes when you're doing, uh, you know, highway, <laughs> highway traffic stops and stuff like that? I don't know, man. That's a good question. Uh, let's try to find some flat ground at least here. We in the jungle... Actually, no, we're not in the jungle. That's an absolute lie, man. You are lying, Don Squall. You are lying to these people, bro. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to pull off to the side here. You know, if, maybe we'll take this thing online a little bit later and uh, see if we can cause a little bit of ruckus. Now, these 
this OPP cruiser not known worldwide, unfortunately, but uh, pretty well known here in Canada. So hopefully this build goes over well. And for you guys who are wondering what the hell an OPP cruiser looks like or even is, uh, this is it, man, right here. Uh, you know, pretty much my reiteration. Uh, so yeah, I'm thinking this is probably going to be the end of this video as always i just want to say thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed this one don't forget to smash that like button if you guys think i talk too much tell me just to shut up man down in the comments section because uh, i feel like i've been talking a lot in this one but yeah i'm thinking uh that's it man so as always we're gonna catch you guys at the next one peace peace oh Oh, oh, for fuck's sake, every fucking time. Showdown, bitch. Yeah, just keep on rolling there. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry about the race or anything.